Hello everyone. Now this video will introduce the latest data recovery product from Dolphin Data Lab. Now let's check this product. And this is one uh, Apple SSD converter, or we call it one uh, very helpful data recovery adapter. And we can convert the Apple SSD uh, interface, the special interface to the SATA and USB here. USB host is to collect the Apple SSD to computer. Okay, this one is used to connect to computer. And this is the SATA interface is to connect as Apple SSDs here. We can see these are the supported Apple SSDs. There are several types supported. So sometimes when the SSDs have bad sectors, we can connect by the SATA ports to the well common SATA data recovery equipment such as the DFO SRP data recovery equipment. Now let's check the interface. We can see here, this is the Apple uh, SSD uh, with 12 plus 16 pins. Okay, this interface. And we can see for the 12 plus 16 pins, there are two types of SSD app SSDs. Okay, these two. Both of these Apple SSD, they have the 12 and 16 pins. We can count this. This is the pins. Okay, so let's see how to connect them. It's very easy. And here, okay, this side. The longer side, it's 16 pins. The shorter side, it's 12 pins. So we need to connect like this one. Okay. So it's very easy. And then we can uh, connect the SATA ports to the SATA data recovery uh, equipment. We will check later. Let's check how to connect the SSDs first to this adapter. And this is another Apple SSD. It's the same way. This is a longer side. Uh, this is 12, uh, 16 side. We kind of click this one. Okay, make sure uh, the, the SSD is fully inserted to the interface here. Okay, this is a port. And so these two, okay, these two are the 12 and 16 pins. And this one, let's check this one. This one, it has the six plus 12 pins. So we need to connect here. So connect like this way, it's very easy. So we can connect it properly. And the golden metal part needs to be fully inserted to this port. Okay. Now we can see these are the two types. And this one, this one is different compared with the 12, plus 16 pins and this one is the 6 plus 12 okay here 6 plus 12 pins but this one it has the 7 plus 17 pins and this adapter doesn't have the port directly for the 7 plus 17 pins so we need to use this one when users buy this adapter, users get this small adapter too. So we need to connect to this 17 plus uh, 7 plus 17 pins. 
Connect this Apple SSD to this adapter, like this one, okay? This is a longer side, and this is the shorter side. So we need to connect like this. Okay, connect it. And we can see uh, this connector is the six plus 12 pins. Then we need to connect like this one, like this way. Okay, insert it. So for the seven plus 17 pins, SSD, we need to connect using this green adapter and then connect it to this port. Now let's check the fourth type of Apple SSD supported. Now we can see here Apple A1708. So we can see for this SSD, we need to connect it here. So this is longer side and this is shorter side. So we need to connect like this way. Okay. Now we have connected this one properly. And then we can connect this SATA port to the uh, data recovery equipment. Okay. Now let's check how to connect it to the data recovery uh, equipment. Let's check this one. Okay. Here we can see it's DFSRP. And let's connect it like this one. This is the power cable. So we connect. Uh, this is the data cable. Okay. Now it's easy. We can see this is the DFSRP data recovery equipment. We connect like this one. It's very easy. So connect to this one. Then we can go to uh, go to the computer. We can open the software. Okay, open the software here. And we can open the DFLC panel. Okay, SATA zero. Uh, DDP data recovery software. Now let's check this one. Uh, we can power on this SSD. Now we can see uh, this SSD drive gets ready and we can set up one uh, new project. Let's try. Okay, let's try to use hard reset. Sometimes when the drive has bad sectors uh, with the SSD, we can try the soft reset or hard reset. Uh, mostly we use the hard reset and continue. Okay, let's try again. Now uh, this SSD this with bad sector has been detected properly now. We can use next step, click OK. Here we can see the petitions cannot be nested. So we can use right click, scan NOST petitions, click start scan. We can see the NOST scan has been detected. Okay, the second uh, NOST petition uh, the Apple HFS Plus petition has been detected. Click yes to save it. Now uh, we can stop the scan because this is the real capacity of the whole SSD drive. 
it has been detected so we can click here save selected now let's try to click okay we can click the petition here because this drive uh, has the bad sectors so uh, it is showing expanding we need to wait or sometimes we need to use the hard reset again to open uh, the lost folders under this partition and then uh, it is very easy for us to recover the lost data we just need to uh, select the lost folders or files and then we can recover them So this is how uh, we can connect the Apple SSD and recover the lost data. With the DFL DDP data recovery software okay like this one and uh, sometimes the apple sd we can connect to the computer directly okay we can power off first we can use, for example, this one. Uh, this is the Apple SSD. So let's see how to connect to it. Connect to computer and to check the data directly. Okay. So this is the 12, 16 pins. We need to connect here. And then we can use one. Uh, USB type C cable. Okay, this is USB type C cable. Uh, we can connect here USB host. Okay. Then we can connect this one to the computer. Okay, this is the USB side. We can uh, connect to the computer here. Now, let's see what happens. We connect this FSD to the computer, and uh, here we can see within the computer we get this ssd so we can check the data directly okay so the data is here we can just uh, uh, read them or backup them or copy them to your local drives so this is how we use the uh, this one the usb type c the type C port, the USB host here. So users can uh, connect this Apple SSD here to the DFLSRP data recovery hardware, or can connect this Apple SSDs to the computer to check the data uh, directly. Thank you for watching the video.